ABC is a triangle of area 14, that's the large triangle, ABC. D is a point on AB such that AD is to DB is 2 is to 5. So that means that if we take AD, the length AD, and divide it by the length DB, we get 2 over 5. Also, DE is parallel to BC. Find how many times the area of triangle EBC is greater than the area of triangle EDB. Here's triangle EBC. We want to find out how many times this triangle is greater than EDB, the smaller triangle next to it. In other words, we want to take the area of triangle EBC and divide it by the area of triangle EDB. Now here I've shown triangles ADE and ABC separately. It turns out that these two triangles are similar or equiangular. Let's see. Well, this angle up here is the same in both because the two triangles overlap up here. So that's one angle that's the same. Another pair of angles that are the same are these, is this pair. Why are these angles the same? Well, we're given that DE is parallel to BC, so we have a pair of corresponding angles. Whenever we, ha we have a line cutting through two parallel lines, corresponding angles are formed. So these are a pair of corresponding angles. So we found that two angles are the same. That means the third angle is automatically the same. So both triangles are equiangular or similar. So these angles must be the same. Actually, these are a pair of corresponding angles too. This angle and this angle are a pair of corresponding angles. Now let, let's look at corresponding sides. We know that side AD and side AB are a pair of corresponding sides because both AD and AB are opposite the same angle. So we could take the ratio of these two sides. We could take AD over AB. And we know that that ratio must equal the ratio of another pair of corresponding sides. So if we take the sides opposite this angle up here. So starting with this triangle, because we started with it before when we wrote down AD, we have DE over BC. The question is, what is this ratio? Well, we know that AD is to DB is 2 is to 5. It doesn't mean that AD is 2 units long, of course. We're just look, considering ratios here. But if we put AD over AB, AD over AB is going to be 2 over 7. Two plus five is seven. So that's the ratio of AD to AB. It's two is to seven. Now we can look at this quadrilateral, DE, BC. We are interested in the ratio of these two triangles. So how would we go about getting the area of these triangles? Well, we don't have any sides. All we know is that the ratio of BC to DE this ratio here, our DE to BC is 2 over 7. So this is 2 is to 7. But we don't know the lengths of these sides. But if we did know them, how would we get the areas? Well, let's look at triangle EBC. We could take BC as base. So we would have a half times BC. I'll put lines on either side to emphasize that it's the length times the perpendicular height. Well, if we're taking BC as the base of triangle EBC, then the perpendicular height would be this distance here, which I'll call H. Uh, let's look at triangle EDB. We could take this side as base. So we'd have half the base is half times DE. And what's the height? Well, the height would be got by projecting the point B down onto a line that's got by extending the base DE. So we extend the base DE and project this corner onto that line. And that's our perpendicular height for triangle BDE or EDB. But you see that this height here is the same as this height. 
well this line here is parallel to this line that's what we were given and uh, this is actually the shortest distance between the two parallel lines same goes for this distance here it's the perpendicular distance between the parallel lines so now we see that the ratio of the area of the triangles is BC divided by DE but we have that ratio up here well it's just that it's turned upside down here this is DE over BC so to get BC over DE we just turn this number upside down so we get 7 over 2 you can write 7 over 2 as 3.5 so what does this 3.5 mean? it means that triangle EBC that's this triangle here is three and a half times the area of triangle EDB. Notice that there is some redundant information here. Well, there's one piece of redundant information, and that is the area of triangle ABC. We don't need to know that. Now, let's suppose we want to go one step further and actually get the areas of triangles EBC and EDB. Okay, we don't have to do that. We've answered the question, but let's just see how we would do it. Well, we're given that the area of triangle ABC is 14. Um, let's look at the area of triangle ADE. Let's try and find that area. I'll call that area X. Now, we know that these are two similar triangles, so we can think of the triangle ABC as a scaled-up version of triangle ADE. So what is the scale factor of the enlargement? Well, we just take a pair of corresponding sides and divide them. So if we take this side of the large triangle and divide by the corresponding side of the small triangle, we know that these are corresponding sides because they're both opposite the same angle. They're both opposite this angle here. If we do that division, we get 7 over 2, as we saw earlier. Now it's a fact that the scale factor for the areas is got by squaring the scale factor of the enlargement. So we take 7 over 2 and square it. Um, the reason why that is true is because when we scale up an object, we're scaling up all the dimensions of it. So if we were, tr if we were trying to get the area of each triangle, you know, we would have to take the base and multiply by the perpendicular height. And we would do the same for this. We take this, say this side as base. Well, you can take any side as base. Then the perpendicular height is this side here. But both DE and the perpendicular height are scaled up by a factor of 7 over 2. But to get the area, we have to multiply the base by the height. So we're multiplying a side which is scaled up by a factor of 7 over 2 by the height which is also scaled up by a factor of 7 over 2. The height is also scaled up. So we will have two factors of 7 over 2. So that means the area is scaled up by 7 over 2 times 7 over 2, or 49 over 4. So if we multiply the area of this triangle, which is x, by 49 over 4, we get the area of the large triangle, which is 14. So here we have an equation. And we solve for x, so we just multiply both sides by 4 over 49. We can divide 7 into both of these numbers. So we get 8 over 7. So the area of this triangle is 8 over 7, or if you like, 1 and 1 7 square units. So now we can go to the area of our quadrilateral. So to get the area of the quadrilateral, we take the area of the large triangle, which we were given as 14, minus the area of the small triangle, which we just calculated. And when we do that, we get 12 and 6 sevenths. We also saw earlier that the ratio of these two triangles is 7 is to 2. Or in other words, this triangle here, this is triangle EBC actually, is 3.5 times the area of triangle DEC, or sorry, EDB. So if we want to find the areas of each of these triangles, we divide 12 and 6 sevenths in the ratio 7 is to 2. To get the area of triangle EBC, we take the total area and uh, divide by 9. 9 is just 7 plus 2. And we multiply by 7 to get this triangle. And that gives us an answer of 10. So that means that the area of the other triangle, which is DEB, 
is got by 12 and 6 sevens over 9 times 2, or if you like, 12 and 6 sevens minus 10, which is 2 and 6 sevens.